Hi Aquarius, welcome back. So Aquarius, this is going to be your you versus them reading. I'm going to go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. Uh, because it's a general reading, feel free to reverse the roles if needed. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. My readings are timeless, so I just trust that when this finds you, it's for you. So before I get into the tarot, I want to talk about um, the energy I was feeling when I was sitting in a meditation and the collective Aquarian energy. Um, I got an image, a few different images. One of them was a white feather. Um, and feathers are significant uh, for me as well. Um, oftentimes I find feathers when I'm asking for signs from the universe or um, when I'm wanting confirmation of something I'm feeling. So feathers may also be significant to you. But on the heels of that, a song came through and um, the song was Blackbird Singing in the Dead of Night. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. Mm -hmm. Something about this moment that you've been waiting to arrive. Blackbird fly. So anyways, that song may be significant. Sorry, I'm going to get carried away. Um, <laughs> That song may be significant, um, the artist or the very specifics of the lyrics may also resonate with you, even if the song doesn't. And so that part of the song was important because that part kept playing over and over again, um, specifically waiting for this moment to arrive. Uh, I think that's what he says or something similar to that. So there's something coming up in the energy that maybe Aquarius you've been waiting for that you've been um, getting intuitive nudges about. Okay. I definitely go check out the lyrics and the meaning to that song because that may also resonate with you um, and be on the lookout for any signs from the universe. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the tarot portion of the reading and get into it. I already have the overall supporting energy between you and the person you're connected with, and it's the eighth house, um, as well as the semi-sextile. So the eighth house is uh, in the house of intimacy. This is also Scorpion energy. Some of you could be dealing with Scorpio, have that in your chart. I've got Capricorn over here as well. But it's talking about investments and intensity, contracts, soul contracts. Um, it's kind of a mysterious energy, but it could also be obsessive. It could also be um, a bit manipulative. Um, yeah, it can get dark, right? Sometimes this is the shadow card for me. So some of you may have recently done some shadow work around your intimacy life um, or needing to do that around your intimate life. But then right next to that is the card of allowance. So this is encouraging you to see the potential even in the dark, okay? This is giving you some sort of hope, something coming to fruition here. Um, it's putting you into another growth cycle. Some of you might be having growth when it comes to intimate relationships, the relationships that mean the most to you, or within sexual intimacy within relationships, all right? So um, it's an interesting energy. I love that it's heading towards some sort of growth potential, Aquarius. So if you are still in the shadow or finding moments in time where you're in your shadow, just know that it's not going to last um, forever. Okay. <laughs> so let's get your overall energy here. Hmm. I heard don't ask, don't tell. I don't know why. Uh, maybe resonates with someone if it does great if it doesn't whatever so you have the nine of pentacles here uh showing up in your energy and the five of cups showing up in the person that you are connecting with so this is all about independence self-sufficiency entrepreneurship um standing on your own two feet um they're giving me a song now sorry standing ovations uh that's a lyric to a song uh, it's a Rihanna song. Anyways, <laughs> the, 
that's kind of the energy that you're in. This is kind of like being comfortable in who you are, Aquarius, and not allowing your shadow to override your light, not second guessing yourself, not letting yourself be um, persuaded to kind of go against your own morals, your own ethics, your own boundaries, okay? This is definitely a very strong-headed type of energy coming through. And Aquarius, you are a fixed sign, so you do tend to have strong uh, belief structures. You know, when you believe in a cause or you believe in something that you love, you're not easily persuaded away from that. So I see you showing up in that energy during this time frame. This person is in the Five of Cups, so this is the card of sadness, regret, loss. Um, this person could have been going through, through some turmoil emotionally when it comes to their private life. Uh, I, pr I particularly got the word private life. Um, so this may not be obvious to others or obvious to you, but there's something going on in private with this person that maybe they don't feel uh, comfortable talking about. It could be their shadow work that they are doing. Um, and I heard private eye. Okay, this is getting interesting. So there's more to come uh, out of this energy. So let's look at what led up to the now. I'm going to go into the recent past, Aquarius, and then I'm going to go into how you perceive each other, how you genuinely feel underneath it all, your hopes, and most likely future outcomes. So, Aquarius, recent past energy for my Aquarius. Queen of Cups, Two of Cups. Nine of Wands. So Aquarius, there's this sense of emotionally um, kind of giving up the struggle, giving up the fight. If, if love don't come easy, I feel like then it's not worth having in your life. That's the stance maybe you have recently taken or have taken in the past. There's a sense of being very protective over who you're going to allow into your private life, into your intimate life. So Aquarius, I don't feel that you're in this energy or have been in this energy of wanting to kind of bear it all, uh, be vulnerable or bear your emotions. It's not that you're not feeling a lot of emotions. It's just that you are kind of keeping it to yourself. You know, I'm getting like a what will be will be type of energy off of this card and just like uh, whatever is for you, allowing that in. And not really chasing, not really pushing, not really struggling. Um, wow, okay, that came out of nowhere. Sorry, I did not mean to pause. All of a sudden, I felt like giving up. <laughs> like giving up on the reading. And I thought, wait, why am I having this energy come through? Because I was really excited to sit and do this reading. And then I got the message that that's the Aquarian energy. So it's like some of you in this place of like, I give up, like, fine, I, I give up. Um, and it's almost like in the moment of surrender, you come back into union with your higher self, you know, and start feeling more emotional balance in your life. At the same time, Aquarius, you are a bit, um, like I said, guarded, your walls are up. You're not um, easily allowing other people in. So that's a bit of a contradictory energy. It's almost like you want to be in the state of allowance, but yet you're guarded with who you're allowing in. Well, the way law of attraction works is, Aquarius, if, if you're guarded towards one person and that's where your focus is, it doesn't matter how open you are in other areas or other relationships, you're still giving off the vibration of guardedness, okay? So you may be coming off that way unintentionally in other areas of your life or other relationships. Um, so it's like, in order to fully sit in the receiving mode, in the openness, you have to actually be open all the way around that doesn't mean like putting your boundaries down or doing something out of character that means when it comes to your internal dialogue how you're feeling how you're thinking that you're giving yourself free-flowing high vibrating thoughts 
kind of like what I was feeling earlier of like what will be will be um, what's for me will find me all really is well and um, not allowing yourself to give focus to a person or an area of your life that always puts you on the defense always pisses you off always makes you feel the opposite of what you know yourself to be which is this loving emotionally open Aquarian right I hope this is making sense um, <laughs> so let's see this person's recent past energy Seven of Swords. Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, Seven of Swords, Six of Cups, Four of Wands, Ten of Swords. I only wanted a few cards, but I got a million. Two of Swords. Wow, the star. So, Aquarius, first of all, this person may be stalking your social media um, or try got the word private eye. Okay. Um, that's not going to be for all of you. I, I feel like if you know that you, that resonated, okay? For others of you, it's like this person they gave me two songs, Thief in the Night um, and Take Time with a Wanted Hand or is it a Wounded Hand? I'm not sure. I've gotten that song before but I don't remember whose reading it was. Um, this person doesn't want you to know what they're up to. They're definitely hiding a lot. Uh, they have hidden motives. They are maybe blocking communication. You might have blocked this person, but even if you blocked them, they sh they're still aware of what you're doing somehow. So <laughs> they're still showing up in the readings. So uh, maybe they created fake profiles, fake accounts. Uh, maybe they have other ways to get access to you. Maybe, um, whatever. I don't know. But this person is definitely still lurking in the energy either way. And it's coming from a place of not wanting to be seen, wanting to be hidden, wanting to be behind the scenes. But if you're an intuitive Aquarius, this person, they are not fooling anyone, right? Because I feel some of you are fully aware of this, even if you have no like uh, tangible proof. Um, but here you are still in their energy, still in their thoughts, even though there's some sort of blockage here, okay? And it doesn't have to be around social media. It could be an energy blockage of this person not being truthful with what's really going on with them for whatever reason. You could uh, have past history with this person. You could have had um, a past relationship with this person that ended in a really unhealthy way okay um and or this person may have a very difficult past okay they gave me the word instincts or instinctual so um it kind of threw me off for a second uh this person relies heavily on their instinct but like primal instincts, not like higher level spiritual instincts, you know, like fight or flight mode and um, things that would keep you alive in the physical world, but don't necessarily help you in the spiritual emotional realm. So this person relies heavily on instinct. This could also make them a bit impulsive or quick to um, temper okay i'm sorry i feel like this reading is all over the place i may or may not keep this one i i'm like trying to read the cards if i want to explain what's happening but i'm also getting channeled messages and they're coming through so fast that it's like pulling me in a bunch of different directions okay so i don't believe in coincidences at all so Aquarius, you might also be feeling that type of energy where you're feeling pulled in a lot of different directions or it's like having a hard time knowing where to put your attention even or maybe getting a lot of intuitive downloads during this time frame. So let's see um, how you perceive 
the connection. So how you think about the connection. Keep in mind that perception is in the eye of the beholder. So it may be your truth, but it may not be this person's truth, okay? Knight of Cups, the wheel. Ten of Swords. Ooh. Ace of Swords. So, um, Aquarius, I'm getting a healthy song. I'm having a lot of love. Ooh, ooh. I'm bad at love. Okay, that song may resonate with you or this person. Um, it's like... It's hard to love this person sometimes, okay? Maybe that's why you get so defensive or, like, quick to put your walls up. Because I feel like you view this person as difficult to love sometimes. Um, I, and then at the same time, sometimes you feel really lucky in love with this person or lucky to have found this person. Um, it's just... It's hard for you to walk away from the situation because you have a lot of thoughts. You have a lot of momentum tied around the connection. It's like running something through your mind, Aquarius, over and over and over again until your brain gets tired, until you start to feel fatigued. It might have even had you in this insecure place where you were questioning if you were bad at love. You know, like, well, maybe just love's not my thing, you know, um... Like finding success in a lot of other areas of your life, but maybe struggling when it came to relationships or this connection in particular, and it queuing up some insecurities within you, Aquarius, that you still have yet to deal with, um, and some karma tied around that. So there's something to be learned about yourself through the connection, of course. And there is growth coming in as well. So I feel like you're learning something new about yourself in the process um, of processing the connection. Let's see how this person perceives you. It also could have had you second guessing yourself, second guessing your um, worth or your, mm, I don't know, just second guessing yourself, which is very unAquarian like okay? Not that Aquarians don't ever second guess themselves, but because you're an Aquarius and you're a fixed sign, it's it takes a lot for you to get into that space, all right? So how does this person view the connection? The sun, the ace of wands, the fool. Wow, all fire energy here. So one of two things. Um, either you, um, either this person is super, super, super attracted to you or desires the connection or feels a lot of intimacy around the connection or and you piss them off. Excuse my language. <laughs> this could be like a love-hate thing or like because this person has so much desire around the connection, it frustrates them. Like sexual frustration, if this is intimate, just saying. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, it motivates this person. It motivates them to take better care of themselves. It motivates them to kind of search for new things in their own life. It's motivating them to get back in touch with their creativity and to find their happiness. So in a way, this connection served as a motivating factor for this person to launch into their next chapter of their life. Um, yeah, when this person views you, Aquarius, they may see you doing that as well. They may see you connecting with your happiness and feeling more passionate and having new beginnings in your life as well. Um, I heard keep up. This person is trying to keep up with your energy or you are trying to keep up with their energy. But I feel it mostly on this person's side.
<laughs> Sorry, I heard hot for teacher. It's a it's a song. Um <laughs> If this is not an intimate connection, this probably reading is not for you, but it could also just mean that you, you motivate this person to get back in touch with their higher vibrational self. Like you light that fire under this person. So let's look at the heart space, Aquarius, and how you're genuinely feeling about the connection. All right, so we just went through the headspace. Now we're going to go through the heart space and see what's going on uh, in the deep emotions. Ah, keep wanting to keep giving me twin cards. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I'll take note of that. So you have Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Three of Pentacles. What else? King of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and the Strength card. Leo, Aries, Energies for some of you. Um, this is you behind the scenes, okay? This is the part that's unknown to anyone, better yet, this person. This is, uh, you, Aquarius, really doing the self-work, um, and doing some shadow work along the way, you know, facing some insecurities, seeing why that is that you feel that way that you feel, and working on that, and becoming aware of how you've held yourself back or held yourself restricted when you didn't need to. Um, I think also there's a heavy focus on things that emotionally fulfill you when it comes to your practical life. Uh, submersing yourself into the home environment or decorating, cooking, things that just make you feel more at home, more comfortable. All right. There's that very fixed energy as well of um, like the Aquarian fixated energy. So it's almost like. You're spending a lot of time, Aquarius, in the space of wanting more comfort in your life and kind of blocking out the negativity, blocking out the naysaying, blocking out anything that you feel would interrupt your inner peace. Um, and it takes a lot of strength to do that because I feel that there's a fine line, as I said earlier, between creating space for your healing and versus putting walls up and becoming defensive. And I think Aquarius, you're kind of learning that uh, as we go into the energy of the difference between uh, this guardedness versus this peacefulness. There is a big differentiating factor in the vibration of those two emotions. And so in the past, it was like you were trying to sit in like receiving mode of like just allowing things to come to you. But then at the same time being guarded or pushing against this person or an, another person or an area of your life that kind of had a ripple effect and created blockages uh, in other areas. And now it's coming to this emotional space Aquarius where... You are softening that, so it's no more, it's no longer about like putting very high walls up. It's more about just creating space instead for your healing, for things that make you feel good, for things that make you feel comfortable, and doing, like I said, the self work. And this is creating more confidence in your energy, and you're exuding it now. You you might be very attractive to other people during this time frame because when you do self-work like that, you freaking glow. You know what I'm saying? When you're not walking around all insecure about who you are or how someone feels, that's hot, you know? <laughs> that's hot. But it, it is. People are attracted to that. It's... Um, a beautiful energy to be in and this person is obviously very attracted to you Aquarius so let's go into their emotional space the seven of cups the seven of wands the eight of Pentacles the Knight of Wands. Okay. 
So Aquarius, this is that fight or flight mode that I felt earlier. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is a combative type of energy coming from a very emotional space of um, really not being able to let go, okay? Um, that's showing up in the person's emotions. There's emotional confusion going on. This person feels a little bit pushed out, okay? So if you have been with your walls up, Aquarius, even if you have not spoken that to this person, they feel it, energetically speaking. Like they feel the distance in the energy. They feel the change in the energy. Um, emotionally, this person is also doing some self-work. Like they're, they're kind of in this space where they're having to self-reflect. as like, why, why am I feeling like I'm being pushed in a direction that I don't want to go? And so they're re-examining something here in the energy and then from that space, they are going to want to take some sort of action. Now, some of them, I heard, don't like what they see. Do you like what you see? I heard, do you like what you see? Do you like what you see? I don't know why I keep getting that. Um, no, they like what they see. Don't get it twisted. Okay. <laughs> And I think that they've seen more than you're aware of, okay? Or in their mind's eye, they have imagined more than maybe you are aware of, Aquarius. <laughs> but um, they're being, emotionally, they want some sort of action here, but it might come in the form of combativeness. It's like this person don't know how to deal or something. They don't know how to let bygones be bygones or let go of something so they always come back around to the drawing board let's look at your hopes ace of pentacles so you're wanting something with growth potential let's go back to this card after the shadow work is done, Aquarius, then you go into the semi-sextile of allowing. I just realized that said allowing on it. That makes so much sense. But anyways, that is um, putting you in the space where you're realizing some rewards, that you're getting ready to go into a growth cycle. You've been kind of calling that into you, but accidentally blocking it at the same time, at least in the past. But now you're getting into the space of softening up that energy so that it can come through for you and it may come through um in the form of money i heard gifts okay uh like spiritual gifts actual gifts uh commitment potentials relationships you name it however you however you allow it in is how it will come in this person's hope is the empress Oh my gosh, I got this song in Libra's reading. It just popped in my head. I got my mind set on you. Okay, so some of you definitely know what you got your mind set on, or this person does. But you have, they have the Empress here and their hopes. So this is hoping to see, to see things come to fruition. They are also wanting to be in the growth cycle of seeing things develop. You know, and seeing things come to fruition for them as well. So let's look at the um, most likely future outcome, Aquarius. And keep in mind that the most likely future outcome can be changed with free will. You're in the driver's seat, no one else. I don't know why I'm so, like, fidgety. I mean, I'm always fidgety because I have ADD. But, like, I feel super fidgety right now. I don't know, Aquarius, if you, I heard fidget spinners. Some of you are just like fidgety in nature. You're feeling fidgety right now. Um, but it's like I'm messing with my hair and my nose is itching and just, I don't know. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of an annoying energy. I'm not going to lie. It's like um, some of you have an annoyance going on possibly. So let's look at most likely future outcomes then. Sorry. Four of Wands. 
Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, that's nice. See what I'm saying? It's like now because I said I was fidgety, I'm even more fidgety. I called it into me. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, don't mind me. All right, give me one more. Whoa! <laughs> that was extra. But look at this. The Eight of Wands. Now, it came out in the reverse, uh, which is really interesting to me because there's all this vast movement forward. So you have the Four of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Chariot, Eight of Wands in the reverse. So I feel like Aquarius, you're getting into this space, right, of celebrating your life more, feeling uh, better about uh, who you are and the people surrounding you and having a really good foundation to kind of build off of a good security net, um, whether that be within finances or relationships. I feel a lot of connectivity coming through. So you might be connecting with various people in your social circle. Um, and maybe even travel for some of you, but energetically speaking, even if you're not traveling, it's just like things moving forward, things moving smoothly, okay, in a lot of areas of your life. And then here's that one blockage. Here's the blockage that I felt in the past coming back up in the future energy. So some of you, it is blocked communication or, um, you may be even blocking yourself off from communicating something. And that's really your only issue right now is like, I heard say it, don't say it, say it, don't say it, say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. I'm just saying, if we're in a retrograde right now, Aquarius, or we're getting ready to be in one, and it's not the best time to um, communicate things that are very important to you, because you might be running things back through your mind again, and needing that reflection time before you move forward with something, okay? Now, I also got the message that there's returning of something, the return of something. Um, and didn't I get that in that song at the beginning of the reading? Something about arriving. So some of you put something out to the universe that is returning to you because they showed me an image of a boomerang. Okay, um, so I guess be on the lookout for that. You'll know what it is. You might even get a sign uh, about this in the form of a feather. That could have been why I saw a feather. So let's see um, this person's future energy. Whoa, the King of Swords, Justice, and the Ace of Cups. I don't even know if I want to clarify that. I guess I'm just shocked by this. The Ten of Wands. <laughs> so, first of all, you still have captivated this person's attention. They're still heavily in their thought space, even if they're emotionally detached. Um, this person is trying to find the answers, but it's almost like the blind leading the blind over here. This person is either in love with you, Aquarius or is uh, is very emotional during the time this time frame um, heavy emotions heavy emotions so even if this person does not show it they have a lot of heavy emotions that they're trying to balance out in the background that's exactly okay this is coming full circle y'all that's exactly what I started out saying at the beginning of the reading, that this person had this sadness energy, but I didn't, it, I felt they were keeping it private. And then here, as we go into the future energy, even, it's the same type of energy. Um, I feel like this person may be trying to weigh things out in their mind because their emotions are so heavy that it's hard for them not to think about it, okay? It's like they're carrying this burden around with them all of the time or carrying around this emotion with them all of the time, but not 
expressing it or not um, exuding it. It's like, um, it's weird. It's like this person's a bit disconnected. They're trying to over-rationalize their emotions. Like, this person may be someone who um, over-rationalizes things to themselves as like a coping mechanism. So, but anyways, <laughs> it's really interesting to me because, see, this person makes things harder than it needs to be. And they're giving me the bad at love song again. And that's how you viewed the connection. It's like being harder than it needed to be or needs to be. Um, and I'm getting that message again. It's like this person, they struggle because they create that struggle. Um, through not verbalizing or honoring their emotion. Instead, they make their emotion wrong or they try to override it or they try to rationalize it. And it works against them, okay, to some degree. But it's also creating this immense amount of passion here within them. And actually, I feel like they are doing some, they've done or are doing some self-work here and really examining that um, and getting ready to come to this space of inspired action. So let's see what the Osho Zen has to say. But I feel like the situation is coming full circle, Aquarius. Let's see what the Osho Zen has to say. I got the card of courage. I keep getting this card, and I hate this card, in the Aquarian reading, politics. Uh, there's a snake in the picture. So this person's wearing a false facade, okay? They're really needing the courage to be truthful. Uh, be forthright, be honest with themselves, with you, with others, I don't know. But it's like they keep trying to hide their emotions here, Aquarius, and because it takes courage to be honest. It takes courage to be vulnerable, and maybe that hasn't worked out for this person in the past. It, maybe it made, they did not like that feeling, and so they often hide their emotions from themselves or from others as a protective mechanism. I'm getting a lot of protective, instinctual type of energy off of this, uh, your cross watcher here. And then you have we are the world and exhaustion. So don't exhaust yourself over this Aquarius. Um, but understand that you're connected to all of it. Meaning like when you're in an energy exchange between you and another person or anyone that um, you have a responsibility to understand the connectedness of how you feel with what you receive. So it's like a reminder to you that um, at the end of the day, we're all connected. So let me give an overall guidance card then. I still have that song playing in my head. I've got my mind set on you. I can't, I can't believe I got that song. Two readings in a row now. I'm really going to have to go look up the lyrics to that. For a second. Some of you are like, Dana, you still there? You still awake? I don't know what that was about. <laughs> like, uh, it's like I'm going into Aquarian La La Land. You guys know I'm an Aquarius too. Like, 
my mind drifting off. I don't know. You might be feeling that as well. I do feel a bit absent-minded during this reading, okay? I kind of feel that way all the time, but anyways. All right, so the guidance says give back. <laughs> this says, today's the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It's about giving back without any thoughts or expectations of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirit as it's highly likely that someone needs it today. So like a good way to get good momentum going for you, Aquarius, during this time frame is to give back, okay, and connections that make you feel good. Um, and also to keep yourself open and in a loving space, even when it comes to um, this connection, any connection, um, that you can always have boundaries, but still be in a place of peacefulness and love. So give that gift to yourself, Aquarius. This person, uh, zodiac sign that you could be dealing with in their chart or in your chart. Let me name those off real quick. I've got Libra, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Aquarius, ah, the uh, Cancer energy, Leo again, Scorpio energy over here, Sagittarius over here. Um, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff as I do go live there. I've got videos over there. Please come check me out on my other platforms. Carrot Time with Dana linked in the description box below. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to leave it there and I'm wishing you guys the very, very, very best. And until next time, my friends, namaste.